about the use of the term God in yoga meditation. And this note is so as not to offend students and practitioners who don't do God and have different experiences of spirituality. Finding God is a process. Our brains are hardwired to find that place. And meditation is a process that leads you ultimately to experience the potential divinity of the self. Since God is infinite, gender is not significant. Although in the Judeo-Christian tradition, God is masculine. Calling the divine self of yoga either he or she is just a human convention. Finding a pronoun for God is not easy in our tradition. In Yoga Sanskrit, the terms it, that and all are used. But these can sound clumsy to us in the West, who need a personified, benevolent, spiritual reference for the ultimate self. Where translations or original texts use the term God, then I'm using a small g in inverted commas. The yogis believed that this human existence is very difficult for the spirit. It's a difficult task for our spirit to reside in our mind-body system. And with the practice of yoga, we make the mind-body and emotional system a more comfortable place for our spirit to dwell while we're on this planet. And being aware that in yoga, with our postures and diet, we're controlling the body. With the breath, we practice control of the emotions. And we practice control of the mind in our meditation. You turn to yoga for your well-being because you have a deeper spiritual need. So good luck and safe journey with your steps along the Eightfold Path which form the threads that eventually come together in your meditation. Enjoy your class.